Arunima, you are being very brave to let us amputate your leg without anesthesia. You also have three fractures in your backbone. They might take days to heal. You will soon be shifted to Ames Delhi for better treatment. Try and relax till then. I wanted to tell you about a decision I've made. It may sound very improbable and foolish, but I need to prove to myself and the world that I'm not as weak as others think I am. I want to prove them that I too can achieve anything I want to. And to do that, I've decided that the day I leave this hospital, I'm going to train for mountaineering and I'm going to climb the Everest. Beta, have you lost your mind? You can barely even sit up right now. You have lost one leg and the other hasn't healed yet. Do you know what it takes to climb the Everest? Even the able-bodied don't dare to attempt such feats. What are you thinking? Ma, I have thought this through. I'm very determined about this. And I don't think any physical disability can prevent me from achieving what I want to. But Arunim... Ma. I think Arunima is right. All she needs now is proper guidance and support. We all will support you, Arunima, no matter what. I think we should approach Bajendri Pal, who climbed the Everest. I'm certain she will guide us well. Arunima, even in this state, if you have merely thought about conquering something like the Everest, it means you've already conquered it in your heart. Now, it is just for the sake of others. I will do whatever I can to help you and I will immediately get you enrolled for the mountaineering camp. No, no, no! She has just the one leg and that too has a rod in it. If I go with her, even I won't come back alive. Don't worry, I have full faith in this girl. She is braver than even the able-bodied mountaineers. Take my word for it and help her with her journey. Wait, wait! The oxygen is running out. We need to go back. But we're almost there. Let's keep going. Top of the world, hey!